No, was that it? Yep, that was it. Oh, was that it? Yep, that was it. Alright, so, muting here. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've played Fallout 4. Um, a few things before I get in. I got some of the community add-ons, got Creation Club add-ons, and it crashed my game. Like, I couldn't save. That's what I mean by it crashed. Like, I kept getting a pop-up saying, um, I need to clear out zero kilobytes. And you can't clear zero. So, because of this, I had to get some mods. And I have nothing against mods, but it annoys me that the mod, when you download mods on the PS4, it you can't get trophies, which is why I was kind of avoiding them at the but since I'm now kind of forced to use um, mods I kind of went hog wild and I was like fine if you're going to make me use mods I'm going to choose which mods I want to use so let's see four I think this is it. Yeah, you can see I also got rid of a lot of my community stuff. But I found out part of the reason for it happening was that if you down, it doesn't happen always, but there's a, a large chance when you download the Creation Club armor paints and power armor paints, that's how you can get the glitch. Huzzah. So. I found a mod on the, uh, well, on the mods that lets me keep my weapon skins and my Pip-Boy skins. So, I still have those. But, with some of this, these mods, I, um, since I went hog wild on the mods, I did an unofficial patch. Um, since the game cheated me out of some fun, I've decided to cheat a little bit. Um, I have, um, like, um, I'll show you, I'll show you some of the things I got. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to gripe nasties in a, uh, power armor. You can see I've got some, uh, mod, uh, that's the Creation Club things happening. I figured we'd do some of those, but um, this is kind of cool. I do like this one. Instead of always having to go back to, I don't have to go back to base now every time I want. I can just, boof. I can throw a, uh, oh. I can throw my, uh, get out of the way, Cage, a coffee station. And I can make coffee whenever I want now, if I have the ingredients. Um, one of the mods I also got makes it so I don't need the Slurkum Joe's thing specifically. I can just have, which is one I liked. I, um, I can have just regular 10 cans. But the one I got that I I had I had it saved because what my original plan was is I was gonna get mods after Gripe Nasty, this character, beat Nuka World so I could get the achievements for that. But since this game pretty much cheated me out of it. We're gonna we're gonna get I put the mods in now. So you'll get to see which mods I put on. I've been saving some of them off to the side, not downloading them, but kind of saving them to my library so I could put them on on a later date. So, if you give me a moment, you can see. Some of the other mods I got was to fix the Nuka World thing where, um, 
because I guess originally you were supposed to be able to make the Nuka World bots to the point where you could make the, like the, the ones with the fans that spray the mist on you that hurt. You could, if you, obviously if you had the parts you could make that, but you can't. So that mod, I got a mod to fix that. Um, I thought there was a fast travel to the Commonwealth. Oh, right there. Um, so I got that. I got some of the paint schemes. One of the ones I got, which I'm, I'm not sure if it works because when I was hovering over it, it looked yellow instead of the proper color. But um, I could make the paint schemes like the police protector on, which is something you couldn't do already. You couldn't do normally, which kind of bugged me. Um, added some more armor, um, fixed some armor. Um, let me guess, am I... Trying to think some of the other, um, added the, um, DLC monsters from Nuka World and Far Harbor to appear in the Commonwealth. That's one I really liked. Um, obviously the ones I'm really looking forward to is I'm going to show you now so no point in talking about it um, got a thing where in Skyrim there was a thing where if you had companion you can give them any bow and arrow or any crossbow give them one ammo and they could shoot it repeatedly but here you had a in this game you had a You had to provide ammo for them. So I put it... I put on a mod where... It pretty much does that Skyrim thing. You just give them one ammo and they keep shooting. What I found with that is... It doesn't seem to work mm -hmm. with the... Sentinel power armor. Oh, we're under attack. Um, just a fishing hook. Or an attack by gunners. Oh, that was it. Another thing I got was um, these are soldiers. They're gunners. Gunners are pretty much soldiers, but they never had dog tags. So a mod I added was um, soldiers are soldiers are people too. I think it's what the the uh, mod is called. So it adds uh, dog tags to the uh, gunners. So one of the big, one of the big cheat things I did, I will admit it is cheating, but as I said, this game cheated me, so I don't even care anymore. Bam. Shipment of 99 of everything. Now I don't have to worry about for my crafting. Take this, transfer. And store all junk. Buy them. As I said, cheating? Yes. But this game has cheated me. So I don't even care. Alright, um... Now the big thing I was excited to show. Um... Alright, so I see the inventory. Right here, uh... The miscellaneous music. Companions helper. Dog meat companion. Uh, I read this. I don't like this. Um, pretty much what this says is that it slows down his uh, re health regeneration as he's hurt. So 
No. Um. Dog meat companion. Uh, what was this one? Applies gradually to any health. Oh, okay, so he gains more attack the more he's hurt. Alright, I can turn that on. But, um... Force Dogmeat as second companion. <laughs> Originally, just like in all the other Fallout games... Dog meat was supposed to accompany you because, well, except for Fallout 1 and 2, you kind of had a party. Um, and Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you had a companion slot and you had an animal slot or second companion slot. For Fallout 3, there was only uh, dog meat, but in New Vegas, you could choose between Ed E and uh, I think his name was Rex, it was a cybernetic dog. Um, and then you had another companion. For, for Fallout 4, I, I'm pretty sure I explained this when I was doing the AI, the Power Armor AI thing, but, um, they felt that having dog meat would be, would break the balance of the game. But dog meat is so underpowered, I'm not sure how they thought that was going to work. And, um, so they forced him to be a regular companion. This makes dog meat the second companion because the second companion is still in the game there's just no way for you to access it this mod lets you access it which is nice um companion don't turn on no dog meat companion mark one okay That dog meat? No, that's Rocky. Oh, hi, dog meat. Do you hey. not have a trade? Oh shit! I don't know. Take all. Okay, I don't remember what each one of these did. I one of them's gonna change the breed. I know that. I don't remember which one did. Do I need the armor crafter for that? Craft. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, I'm in a damn suit. I can't do that when I'm in this. Damn, flamingos. Here we go. This is interesting. This must be with, uh... One of the other mods I added was, there's this glitch I found out. I don't know if I, if, if I, uh, wow, words. I'm not sure if I showed on this stream or if I found out, cause I know I found out, but um... If you put dog meat normally, hey. get over here you mutt. Um, when you gave dog meat the dog collar, Oops, give me that helmet back. Quit. Um, and you put um, dog armor on, it would remove the effect of the trans, it, it would change, it would change them back into dog meat, the German Shepherd, which kind of defeats the purpose of them being a husky. So, I don't, do I have, do I have dog armor here? No, it doesn't look like it. I 
but I do have welding goggles. There's dog meat. Oh yeah, fishing hook. Hey. Heads up. Bark, bark. All right. Uh, Building goggles. Who? Little collision with that one, but okay. No welding goggles for you. All right. Some of the other ones I got. Some of the other mods I got, which I'm kind of proud of, is um. The power armor for the Brotherhood of Steel changes. Uh, turn valve to enter. I never noticed that. That's nice. Um, everyone in the Brotherhood of Steel now doesn't have the same armor. Um, now their armor changes depending on their rank in the Brotherhood, which I like. Um, one of the some of the mods I had like getting the pre-war Goss rifle. Since that's in my game, it makes sense that the Brotherhood would have it. So now the Brotherhood still has the Goss rifle. Stuff like that. Um, some, uh, there was a mod I had, I have that changes the, uh, the Institute. I'm not 100% sure. Or I don't 100% remember. Um, actually, since I'm going to be doing some quests, did I get his perk? Thanks to restate your relationship with Cogworth. No, I didn't. So, have Preston join me again. Is it something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Poor Gage is going. All right. Looks like I need to redo this every time I... Oh, maybe not? Also increased dog's meat, um, increased dog meat's power a little bit. Not enough to make him overpowered, because dog meat was never meant to kill a death claw on his own. And I have seen a, a few mods that pretty much lets him do that. But it like, it just increases his base damage a little bit. So he's not just worthless. Alright, um... There's another mod I got um, that if I told you what I did will be a slight spoiler. So let's do this quest. Let's do this quest so I can tell you what it is. Oh, my fingers are going numb from how I'm laying down. Uh, all right, the biologists. All right. Um, Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do this quick one, Method to the Madness. There's a mod on the Creation Club that I got. 
that it's gonna make my friend looking at you, Ron, groan when he sees it. And I know he's gonna groan. But it's one of those, I don't know, I, I kind of wanted it, and yeah, it's my game. Now, I've been trying to think what ending I wanted to go with this character. At first, I thought it was going to be go gun ho for uh, going with the Brotherhood of Steel. But I'm supposed to be a raider. I'm the raider boss. I'm the head honcho. I think I have an idea of what I want to do. Uh, with it. You'll have to wait and see. Alrighty, sorry about that. I wanted to send a quick message. To a friend of mine. Alrighty, let's continue. Oh, Preston Garvey, gonna gonna get a Captain Cosmos toy, are ya? Cosmos fan, you can tell. I guess they aren't going to need that anymore. My fishing pole. Gotta kill the ghoul. Oh yeah. <clears throat> forgot I even forgot I see do I have any fun weapons to give Preston while we're doing this? again uh oh what i was talking about dog meat I, 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 I find it weird that they s thought that having dog meat would make you overpowered but they gave the okay for the sentinel power armor that can pretty much give you a second companion that can use any weapon dog meat though no you just busted but this this is perfect i, I don't i don't get it Anyways, back to Ghoul Slaying. I don't know. I'm just happy to have my dog back. Um. Eliminated. 
Yeah. Doing all right there, Preston? You missed the, the ghoul there. I mean... All right, sure. Um... There was one mod in there. I, I saw the... Oh. I couldn't help but just shake my head at. Maybe because it's just me being a Fallout. Just how much a fan of Fallout I am. I, I don't know why you would want this kind of mod, but um, one of the mods I saw of that it, it um, replaces all the names of ghouls to zombies. It just, I don't know, that, that bugs me on the, just, I know it's a, just a stupid mod to please people, but I guess it just bugs me because ghouls aren't zombies. They're not dead. The ghouls aren't dead. They're very highly irradiated and mutated people. The reason they're feral like this is that their brains rotted. Hey. -oh. Yeah, they're the brains rotted. They're they're not zombies. They're people, but. The radiation has mutated their mind, their body. A ghoul is a very, is a radiated, uh, yo, how's it going? So, I just mentioned, I'm doing a quest now for a creation mod quest. I'm not going to lie, it's going to make you sigh and roll your eyes. But I had to do it. I had to. And I'm sorry. But not sorry. All right. I was also talking about how, um, there's a, uh, mod out there that changes, for some reason, changes the names, uh, ooh, the names of the ghouls to zombies. And I was just saying how that just bugs me. I don't know. I said, probably because I am just a fallout junkie. But... <laughs> Ghouls aren't zombies. They're very irradiated people. They're not dead. Ooh, subway token. Um. Since the game was being an ass to me, um, I had to get some mods. I had to get mods to get my Bethesda mods to work. I know it's because I'm a Fallout junkie. Um, but yeah, I had to get mods to get my Bethesda mods to work. So one of my mods now, I finally got dog meat with me, as he should have always been. Uh, but yeah, it, I don't know. It just bugs me because... A zombie is a dead person coming back from the grave. Ghouls are just living people that the the, radi um, the radiation made them pretty much it rotted their brains. That's why there's, but also regular ghouls live forever. Live forever because I, I'm trying to remember. I think it was that the radiation affected to the point where it it keeps supplying enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Alright, um... So, September 24th, 2077. Dave's been spending a lot of time over at the Shanley's lately. We can all smell the alcohol on him, but he but he's adamant that he's doing research. He calls the place his personal castle and says... The metal statues remind him of golems in the script. At first, I was okay with it. I mean, the battle mage he's playing does live in a castle, and it does have golems guarding the entrance. If that's what it takes to get a good performance out of him, so be it. Still, the other day I had Bob follow him, and it turns out he spends half the time at the bar and the other half in the bathroom. 
But knowing Dave, he's going to tell him that he's on the goddamn throne. Uh, October. And Dave's, uh, Dave's getting obsessed with his role. He comes into comes into set in full armor, dem demands that we address him by his character's name. I've tried having his agent call him, only to find find out that he's cut the uh, the electricity of his home. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what that was he had for lunch, but Bob swears it was still moving. Next casting call, I'm going to tell Jenny no more method actors. Ugh. Someone please hide... Someone please hide the new sword and helmet before the next shoot. I've told Dave next... Uh, I told Dave time and time again that we, we'll live... Oh, we'll live with his bullshit so long as he doesn't endanger the crew. The fact that he brought a real sword on the set is pretty much the opposite of what I asked for. He's nearly sliced off he nearly sliced off Bob's ear, whipping that thing around, and I'm afraid if he kills him, the insurance isn't gonna cover it. So it's not the fact that he could harm someone, it's the insurance. Good old good old politics. Or office politics. Um On top of that, all the screaming he does in the fake la language is starting to grate on everyone. I warned him one more stunt like this and I'm going to write his character off in the most uh, excruciating death imaginable. Let's see him method act that. When Dave found out the script change, uh, the script changes, he just about lost it. He kept saying this nonsense about his new levitation spell and went out to the roof to prove he could fly. They're just trying to talk him off the ledge right now, but I feel like most of us would be okay if he went ahead and jumped. The problem is he's wearing a valuable set of property, so we can't let him, so we can't let that get damaged. I told Bob to get, uh, I told Bob to go after him and secure the prop before telling Dave he's fired. Somehow Dave made it to the le the other ledge. He jumped jumped onto one of his so-called golem golems and climbed on top of it. They said Bob went after him but didn't make it. Now we're missing two actors and a whole bunch of props. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to the suits. No one knows where Dave went. But I'm willing to imagine he's held up in his imaginary castle. Good news. Uh, that was the 23rd, 2077. So you won't have to worry about that for much longer. All right. Um, no, access the roof. That's right. buff out while I'm here. Oh, pampered wig. Oh, the loading screens hasn't changed. Still takes forever. Not as long as Call of Cthulhu's. Call of Cthulhu put loading screens into perspective. Holy shit, did that game have some loading screens. <laughs> it's all about her perspective. Alright, um... How do I check pack again? Oop, that ain't it. Oh, so I explained it earlier. So I found out through research and whatnot, part of the... That should do it. That should do it. What did you do? Um... Oh, there it is. Um... 
part of part of the reason to get the the glitch that I was having with the you need to delete zero kilobytes to save is the Creation Club armor and power armor skins and paints. So if you have those, it's different for each person, but one of the one of the skins or one of the paints will crash your game while downloading and when that happens you'll get the glitch and even if you happen to get it like I did where it doesn't crash you'll still get the glitch so don't so how I got this thing to work again was uh how do I as you can see I had a uh, Apparently no more fun and I had to remove all my paint from my armor. So no more fun times with paint. Luckily I was able to keep my weapon skins in my pit boy paint. But yeah. The best part is the best part is Bethesda knows about this. Like I went on forums and I even sent them a help survey thing of my own to get their attention about this and they and I got the generic we know about this and we're working on it so all right um Jenny's diary yeah pretty much how on earth did Dave make that jump Bob didn't even make the make it to the statue and he used to be a long jumper in high school. I asked, I stacked boxes as high as I could and it still m seems impossible. My latest theory is that he jumped off the street light. We just didn't see it from where we were standing. But some of the staff is starting to wonder if he really is a battle mage. That That's obviously bullshit and I refuse to believe it on general principle. Besides, if Dave really did know how to levitate, he did, he wouldn't have needed that ladder to climb to the other ledge. Not sure what he's doing over there, but he shouted some nonsense about conjuring a key. I can't be sure, but I think I saw him fishing something out of a duffel bag. So I like the fact that you... I'm guessing that's Bob. I like the fact that you watched your colleague and your or your friend jump to his death, saw someone else jump to this ledge, and your first, your first thing you just had to do was grab a cigarette, take notes, write a diary. Yep, that, that was more important. Don't call the ambulance about the dying and probably dead man that j accidentally jumped to his death, but write it down in a diary. Yeah, all right. Where'd dog meat go? Oh, well. All right. Gotta keep notes. Yeah, you could could you at least call the cops first or the police? Yeah, to be fair, she died probably right after because uh, this is the date that uh December twenty third, that's the Let someone else do that. Fall uh December twenty third, that's the uh date the bombs dropped, so Go. Throne room key. Notes on the throne room. Fun. Can I? There. An... Oh, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Second.
I hast hidden the spare key to my throne room atop the castle ramparts where ne'er your soul can findeth it, not even the Valerius Sir Shinley. Valerius? It's, it is vital that I not be disturbed when I am alone in my chambers. Emptying my body and mind allows me to focus and replenish my magi magic reserves. But if I meditate, but if meditation faileth, I kept several potions f from the Archmaid Al Al Gwyneth nearby. Gwyneth Brewery. His potion is beer. It is unfortunate that so many peasants seek to enter my private sanctuary, but I has but but as I told others, if nature beckons, they are uh, there are plenty of other castles across the road where thou can release them thine self. Still, if those rogues manage to break through the castle seal, they will meet swift in by the end of my sword. Uh, hub, oh, uh, hub's brain. Uh, hero, hero, uh, hero, hub's brain. Hero's brain. Hero's hero's brain, because it's Hero's comics. Hero's brain, bang, whatever. It's a stupid pun. Oh, hi. Eat fish hook. I forgot about my fishing hook. Hang on, I forgot about everything she has. A fishing pole, grog and axe axe, assassin's combat knife, fury's power fist. Is that what this is? Fury's, yep. Tweet him. Yeah. They're not using it anymore. All right. I'm not sure if you've realized what the quest is yet or what I'm getting at the end, but you're the moment of you groaning is at hand. I don't need this, but I do need them out of my way. <laughs> well, while we're loading, some of the other mods I got, um... I had said it earlier in the stream, but, um, it changed up the Brotherhood, so not everyone's wearing the same type of armor, or power armor, so depending on the rank, they'll have different power armor, which I liked. Um, now some of the Brotherhoods will have the prototype Goss rifle, which was the DLC weapon, which I liked, um... I mean, quite a few Brotherhood of Steel add-ons I got. And take all the things. Um. Uh, there was one I got that fixed up the Institute. I'm not sure how. Or I don't remember how. I just remember the, the mod was called Mankind Redefined. Stop, sh Stop shooting my dog. Alright, um... 
got a thing where it um now the DLC monsters from Far Harbor and uh, Nuka World are added to will show up at uh will show up here in the Commonwealth instead of just in the DLC areas. How do I get in there? Uh oh. Ooh, frosted. See it? Do you see it? I thought it would look great on my raider girl. You can roll your eyes and groan all you want. No, oh, sword fell. Yes. Got my sword too. Grab some granite ale while I'm at it, I suppose. Oh, let's see how this looks. I can almost hear the groan and the sigh from you from here. I can hear the disapproval. the iron sword. Oh, steel sword. My bad. Uh, R1 to fave. Yeah. Someone's talking to me on Discord. Oh, God Eater 3. Date schedule. I'll look at that in a moment. Or actually, since you're the only fucking person watching, I'll walk right now. What do we got? God Eater. One point uh, two to one point four. Wow. Nice. You see. Condition. Class certification. New challenges. New origami. Is it new hairstyles? More story missions. Is God Theater God Theater? God damn it! Is God Eater three out already? Waste of time, but it makes you happy. Just updates in the work. Honestly, part of the reason I got it was um. Part of the reason I got this is um. Oh, it's on Friday. Shit. Um, as much as I like uh, Grodnak's axe, you can't upgrade it at all. But the sword, you can actually upgrade. So that's part of the reason I got it. But yeah, it's it's really disappointing because I do really like Grodnak's axe. But the fact that you can't upgrade it is just really upsetting to me. That's okay. I'll make Pony Tron use it. Okay, um. 
Let's go to Century, dump off, dump my trash. I can also upgrade the helmet as well. I just think having the iron helmet would look good. It looks decent for the raider character I'm going for. And I just wanted to upgrade the the sword as cuz I as I said as much as I love the Rodnak axe cuz I like battle axes so much more than swords, but you can't upgrade like here I'll even show you. No. Oh, I'll take Grognak's axe. Um is this no that's armor. Weapon up what no I can't do it power suit. If I go to the workbench. See it's there, but current mods, it's empty. Can't do nothing. Which sucks. A lot. Always glad to see the Good. Just send word if you ever need our help. That's what we're But for the steel sword. I can upgrade it. Oh shit. I don't have the... <laughs> I could upgrade it if I had the perks. Oh shit. Alrighty, so apparently I need to rank up. The blacksmithing and science? Well, that's just hysterical, talking about how I wanted to upgrade it, but I can't. Alright, and give Ponytron his... Alrighty, workshop. Store all junk. Store all this stuff I don't need. Oh, can't store those. <laughs> Alright, actually there were some of those mystics I want to keep, like... Subway tokens are important to keep. Pearl, aid, mystic. Book return tokens are good as well. Alrighty. So go to Diamond City, sell some of my junk I picked up. Let's not get, let's cure myself from alcoholism, because apparently I'm addicted to alcohol. I'm glad I can go to the doctors and just get a shot to cure myself from alcoholism. That's... Uh, yesterday I saw, we went to the movies with, um, my mom. We saw The Upside. It was a comedy. It was alright, but there was this guy in it. It was pretty much this, um, right. Um, uh, it was this black guy who recently got out of prison. And, um, he due to plot ended up getting a job to take care of a very rich paraplegic and you pretty much throughout the story find out that he's just been trash for his family 
hasn't been around. The gifts that he gives his son were stolen, and half the time he's had to give get the gifts back to return. And the best thing he ever did for them was give them this shitty ass, really shitty ass apartment. And like the whole movie, pretty much, it shows how much of a colossal fuck up he's been for his family. And like he tries to make amends by actually giving his wife. I'm not sure if they're still together. I never found that out at the end of the movie. But um, pretty much at the end of the whole movie, everything's forgiven because uh, he buys them a house. So that's what that movie has taught me is that you need to, even if you go to jail, even if you're the worst father in the world, uh, the the only thing you need to do to make it right is uh, buy a house. And everything will be forgiven. How do you win the love of your child back? House. If you're thinking safety, a long range rifle lets you stay in cover and out of sight. Uh -huh. I'll take a look, sure. Something for everyone. Yep. Put once, yeah. All right, I don't need this. I don't need you anymore. Is that everything? Oh, knuckles. <laughs> so as I was watching it, it just made me laugh while watching it. It was just... I even leaned over to my mom. I was like, so apparently that is all that is needed to... When the love of your family back is, buy a house. Darn the flag. Where did I get the helmet? Oh, I can't wear my welding goggles with my iron helmet. Oh well. We all must make sacrifices. Alright, what do you got to sell? Some minigun rounds. Oh, the big boy. I do not have enough money for that. I will, though. I will, though. Grab some missiles. Oh, Ripper. All right. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes, Let's see, um... Speak of the devil. Do this one because there was a, uh, a mod I added that adds something. But I don't want to get into it just yet because I don't want to spoil it. But adds encounters that has to do with this quest line.
Did I ever go to the bowling alley? Shit, I don't think I ever did. Like, we went to Far Harbor, but I don't think I ever went to the bowling alley. Which was the whole reason I wanted to go to Far Harbor. <laughs> Damn it. Ants! Hey! Yeah, see? This is the motto I was talking about. Because the ants are only in a nuclear world, normally. How? Did you fucking shoot me, Preston? I mean, I'm not saying I probably didn't deserve it, but what the fuck? Watts Electronics. I'm really mad that I didn't go to the bowling alley. How could I fuck up that much? Oh, more ants. Oh god, I... Oh, and I forgot to cure my alcoholism. I'm just all over it. We got ourselves a couple badasses here. Got a sword and a battle axe, and we're cutting down axes. Or cutting down axes. Cutting down ants. Reduces damage by robots. Oh, that's not bad. The devil. Be vigilant. Communism is coming. <laughs> I love these pre-war posters. Propaganda posters. The war machine. Oh, I can't grab these figures? That's sad. It seems like we've been fighting off raiders ever since I moved back home. Bastards are like roaches. You kill one and then ten crawl out of the out of the cracks. I asked Pa how he dealt with them and he said he didn't have to. Back in the day there was this guy, they called him the Black Devil, and he was and he made it his mission to drive drive all the raiders out of the Commonwealth. Whenever you needed his help, you just needed to tune your tune your radio to his station and there he be. So naturally I wanted to know what happened to him. Paul said he didn't know. About a year ago the radio went static and it's been Raider Haven since ever since. But last week I, w I was at the old Watts building looking for scrap and came across this display that mentions the devil by name. There was also a couple of hollow tapes which I couldn't couldn't make heads or tails of, so I asked my cousin Richie for help. He's good with he's good with his this stuff. He thinks the uh, the tapes might be music in them, a way to summon the devil. The blurb on one of the hollow tapes mention mentions two radio stations, AM eight. 810 and FM uh, 52.7 Richie thinks it might be tied to the old relay towers with the same numbers just north just northeast of here maybe we can use it to set up some music back to the station anyways I'm leaving this note here just in case I just in case I'm probably uh, just in case, I'm probably being paranoid, but I get the feeling we're being followed. Still, my hunch is if uh, if my hunch is right, and for some reason we don't make it, someone has to finish what we started and bring the devil back to the Commonwealth. All right, 
So what do wolves of the hollow tape we just got? Oh, Black Devil Volume 1. Introducing the Black Devil. By day, he's a hard-working janitor, cleaning toilets at the local police station. By night, he's a commie-fighting superhero, here to uphold our core values of truth. Tax loophole Tax loopholes? <laughs> and the principles of a free market. Working with the U.S. government, the Black Devil gained his superhuman strength by merging his body with the Constitution? Co covered in... <laughs> Covered in impenetrable, covered in impenetrable ink of our founding fathers, he hunts down communists with gusto, only to the devil himself. Uh, gusto only known to the devil himself. Mm. So when communism, communists invade your neighborhood, just tune your Watts brand radio to AM eighty one, or FM fifty two point seven. The tax loopholes. <laughs> make sure oh, and make sure you turn the dial up all the way. Only when you play the music of America will the Black Devil recognize you as a true patriot and come to the rescue. A true patriot, the Black Devil loves all songs that celebrate America. The hell? That celebrate, uh, celebrate, but, but, but of that large and il uh, illustrious catalog, three particular distinguished itself themselves as his Phaedric, Phaedric, favorite. The Battle Hymn of the Republic is a song that foretells the judgment of the wicked. For when the Red Army hears its melody on the breath of our soldiers, they will crumble in agony and pain as their ears are too frail to withstand the sheer sonic power of freedom. Holy shit. The Stars and Stripes Forever is the heartbeat of the military march. While the battle hymn prepares... Uh, it prepares one for war. The stars and stripes are the echoes of artillery fire, the sheet music of war. And lastly, America the Beautiful. Not much more needs to be said about this timeless ballad, for America's beauty is what we fight for and aspire to protect. That is why these three songs have been chosen as the Black Devil's signature music. As a soldier, a warrior, and a God-fearing American, when he hears them played on the radio, he will answer the call. Well, that was a mouthful. And that was a lot of bullshit about some, some of our... Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Our music's kind of boring. But... All right, there we go. Hi, cat. <laughs> he fights for tax loopholes. That's amazing. Yeah. Hurts. 
burnt technical manual. Oh, hey, I know where I am. This is the, uh... This is where we pick up Ada. The, uh, robot. Probably should get on with this, that, uh, this quest. This is the, uh, Automatron DLC. Look at all the dead people. Oh, moving on. Hi, Hurley. Let's not. Let's see. Everything. F oh, here we go. Laser will do. Just wait for that to die out. Yeah. I hear my people fighting things, but I don't see them fighting things. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I didn't make it. Ugh. I was hoping the jet pack across didn't end so well, obviously. Oh, hey, look. What? Ow! Hitting me. Oh, more, uh, <laughs> more Nuka World enemies. completely. Though I need to eat something. Death plus steak, I guess. Put up, protector on. Plug this in. I wasn't expecting power armor. Where's uh, Preston? Look alive. Let me try going in here.
There we go. I'll oh, have him carry my power on for me. Oh, shit, we can Well, that was something else I added was um super mutants use more weapons than just the pipe weapons. Cat, you're making this unbelievably difficult to play. Yeah, it I was just getting tired of them only using pipe weapons or when they when they um yeah they'll only use pipe weapons and then on when you progress they'll use like things like assault the assault sh shotguns just add more variety don't shoot some rockets at me Oh, you can hear her purring. Sorry. Let's stay on the side. A bear trap? That was something I wasn't expecting them to be put on the table. Oh, hello. Human, did you make the machine work? Later. Many good things inside. Send more people. I'll be here. So um, I'm heading to school around today. five, so I'll be on for a while. Okay, human. Make the machine stop recording now. Human, not time for sleep. Stop bleeding and work the machine. Ah, fine. Hammer will fix it. You're dro drooling all over me. Yeah, right. Beans. Yeah. Might as well raid the uh this guy's the super mutants fridge. in his gore bag. Nope, 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 nope. Stay on the side. 
Stay on this side. Nope. Oh, you're gonna fall. You're being a pain. My cat's being ultra lovey dummy right now. Ugh. Okay. Oh, is this hammer? Okay. Nope, just greater. Though I guess it could be hammer. Anyway, where was I going? Um, this direction. Got caught up in the moment, killing super mutants. Oh, that's cool, the mod to give them names. Worked on the Enclave as well. Oh man, oh man, I should have never helped Connie with that radio. Now he's done for. I was in the bushes when they took him. One of them said they were taking him to that old police station, the police bureau across the river. It sounds like they wanted to integrate him. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I can upload the stars and strikes, but, but, but Connie still has the tape with the other music on it. He's so clever though, maybe he can find a way out. I guess all I can do is wait here and hope he comes back. Before I go to the police station, let's drop off this power armor. Yep, Enclave Remnants. Pretty much what, yep, with this uh, DLC, the Enclave are back. Sort of. Kind of. And, um, the mod I have makes, uh, Enclave part of the random encounters. So, I'm pretty excited with that one. Alright, Preston. You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of them. Uh, no, Preston. Here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Go ahead. Well, hey there. 
Yeah. I need you to get out of your power armor. Sure thing. Good old wolf tech rep. It is. All tech. Just to make sure everyone fills out their form. I was supposed to win a package. Click on my garage. Sounds like my sister or something. Look at you. Two centimeters. Or close to a current store. Let's see. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Torso? Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. No, you're not. Oh well. Um. your chair, Mama Murphy. The moment I make your chair, you stop. You, you don't get out of that chair. Standard blacksmith. Alright, so I need to, I really need to increase my blacksmith. One sec. You know, things are looking up. I can feel it this time. I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said I shot my liver. The farm's not much, but it's something. around for two centuries is it
Ay caramba, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sister just came home. Alright, um, who's on me? Charlie. Let's see. Uh... Wish I could undo some of my birds. Get rid of these two since I don't need them anymore. Grounder would be nice. Nope. Get away from the mic. Away from the mic, cat. All right. Everybody get sleeping bags. Because they're cheap. Don't take up that much space. Fences, turrets. Make some machine gun turrets here. Can only be placed in dirt. There we go. Unassigned, huh? We have no freeloaders here.
any of these being unmanded? No, actually, okay, it's all good. Hmm. Need more food. But, that's lighter. Alright, um... Our quest now demands us to go over here. West Everett Estates seems to be the closest. So the West Everett Estates we shall go. And my cat's trying to eat my popcorn. My cat has a popcorn addiction. Cat thinks he's a dog. I have to fight him with for all my food. Holy radiation! Alright, um, wasn't expecting that much radiation. Have any right away? my problem. It's not what I'm after. Not with how ear how radiated that is. So oh, fuck that. Also, it, it is foggy as hell right now. Holy fog. Foggy out when you can't see a factory in front of you. Beside an energy. Oh. Almost walked right off the edge there. Oh yeah, <laughs> one of the mods I put on because I love the iBots so much is I uh, I turned all the uh, pack Brahmins into iBots. So it's a pack iBot with Brahmin meat on it. So, yeah. All right. Now, let's see. Corn for me to plant later, I guess. You know, and I've still forgotten to cure my alcoholism. Hey. Oh, here we go, this is what I want. Be the hoarder you were meant to be. Yeah, 
turret. Stuck under my bed. <sighs> Damn cat. Ow, 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 ow. Blacksmith. There, now I can upgrade my Fat man. Guys, finish murdering everyone. Um, okay. I'm not gonna ask where you got that, buddy. Just gonna give you some dog armor. Good old fashioned doggy armor. There you go. Nah. I'm not sure where you got that. Hey. What do you need? Okay. This is what I've got.
There you go. Use that. Oh, you probably need ammunition for now. Hey. Sure. Here's my supply. Yeah, lockpick these for the experience. Oh shit, broke my puppy pin. Yes. Looks like this little prisoner had a stash there. Phone's going off. One second. Ugh, just another false call. Keep getting these calls about you could get braces, medical braces. I don't need medical braces. Go away. You're not getting any popcorn. Alrighty. Is that everything? Yep. Alright, let's go do our what we actually came here to do. Which surprisingly wasn't kill all all the uh, all the raiders.
And there's Connie. Yeah, he's got a pit boy. Huh. How about that? El Diablo Vene. Connie's. Nope. See, pulling records, matching names to vocal patterns, subject record, Connie found, target record, not found, transcribing, Connie, we were trying to, f we were trying to summon the black devil, ugh, get him to protect the farms, so, inaudible, inaudible, unknown, the man you're looking for is no hero, he is a thief, and the armor he wears rightfully belongs to the enclave, Connie, you are, ugh, Talking nonsense, pal. The devil's a guardian. Protects us. Protects the farm from scum like you. Unknown. Your opinion is irrelevant. All we want to know is where to find him. Connie, why don't you check the police station? I hear he works there by day, cleaning the toilets. Maybe you ought to take a real good look inside one. Unknown. Sergeant Hodds, do me a favor and hand me that hammer. Playing voice, voice records, subject, uh, subject record, Connie found, subject record, Hodges found, target record not found, unknown, you're wasting, you're wasting time, we know you have information on the XO2, Connie, ugh, give me a paper and pencil, I'll draw a map, unknown, inaudible, uh, Connie, and a cigarette, I need to smoke, Helps with the creative juices. Unknown. Would you like something to drink as well? Maybe a massage. Officer Bradley here does excellent work with does excellent work with his fists. Connie, what I need a cigarette, not just one, a whole pack. Pulling records. Connie Hodges. Unknown. What does this mean? Check the wall. Uh, Connie. Don't you know? Heh. That's where the devil is in the details. Hodges. He's being deliberately evasive. Connie. Look, if you can't find him, maybe we should call him out. All you need to do is sing his song. Unknown. Enough stalling. Tell us where the armor is. I'm not going to sing. Not this again. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Will someone shut, the, shut, shut this man up? Careful, torture may make his testimony unreliable. I don't care, I just want you to shut his goddamn mouth. Error, no text. No text match found. Hodges, sir, we found the armor. It was a hunch, but based on what the prisoner said, we checked the nearby police stations and it turns out there's a utility tunnel under the Boston police uh, rationing site that matches the description. Unknown. Good work, Sergeant. I'm retrieving. Uh, I'm sure retrieving it won't be a problem. Hodges. Uh, the officers are working on it as we speak, sir. What shall we do with the prisoner? Unknown. Leave him. If he's lucky, he'll bleed to death before the raiders find him. 
Well, seeing as how we just killed a shit ton of raiders, no, that did not happen. All right, let's see. Let's get out of here. I think the bread one should, did show up yet. No, because I haven't commuted, I haven't completed the main story for the bread one to show up. Sorry if you hear all that pounding and jumping. That's my sister. Since we're close, since that's close, I'm gonna stop by good old Diamond City. Sell some things and cure my alcoholism. Cure it. Yeah, I know you see it. I'm eating some popcorn. To get to it. All right, Doctor. Doctor Sun. A new file from both Uh huh. Yeah. See what's wrong with me. Oh Doctor. my God. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? I've got an itch, Doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? We can sober you up. I forgot I was wearing the cappy glasses. Hold on. Any other complaints? Uh. I forgot I was wearing the Hold cappy on. glasses. Any other complaints? No. More done. Off you go then. Custom heart, you know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders. I've got a few minutes to browse. Oh, fucking cat. Sorry about that. Cat 
that's just being an asshole. Wait, I want my hazmat suit. My wedding ring back. I thought he would have had he's got money but he doesn't have that's annoying all right um charge for it. Sure. Let's take a look. Just don't call it. I'm really sorry if you can hear that. Alright, I'm cured. Let's 
go. Very few things I don't ever like seeing. Walking face first into a Century bot is not one of them. doubles. This is what I'm looking for, apparently. On the other side. Hmm. Legendary rag stack.
Bam! And we're in. Ugh, of course it's locked. Why can't I just have something? He says while going to go get a power armor. Got it. Boop. Oh. You get him, dog meat. Electron. Okay. Unbarred. Unbarred, damn you. Exploded. I'm just going to safety here. Hey, look. All right, cat, you're in the way. No, you, no purring into the microphone. <sighs> Animals. Oh, 
that's on XO2. I'll be right back, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. All right. The XO2 power armor is real piece of work. Designed to fit, uh, designed to fit with most standard mods. It looks a tad bulky due to the added padding, but it uh, compensates with ultra light. But the com uh, composites are also ultra, ultra light, so mobility mobility is never an issue. I've also added a few unique touches, like modifying the Tesla coils used on the T60 so it works up with the suit. The difference is the framework on the XO2 lets me build around the plating without having to strip the base mod. So you can fry the bad guys and still have room for a medic pump, some servos, hell even a cup holder for your beer. Near, nearly singed my hair off installing the electrodes on the on the Padrons Aldrons but it works the Raiders will be lucky to just lose their hair alright god I wish I could make an iBot that's how I turn the Devil's Terminal. I was once a military. I was once a military officer, a patriot who wore the uniform with pride. I finished with honors at the academy, rose quickly through the ranks, and joined the elite troop of soldiers known as the Devil's Hand. As special, as a special forces unit, we are given access to the new prototypes, the crown jewel of which was the XO2 power armor. With it, we cleansed the wasteland of mutants, ferals, and the unpure. We found old technology and discovered uncharted land. We did it all with ruthless efficiency. Yet, yet that uh, for that, I was decorated, distinguished, and yet I felt more disillusioned than anything. We mocked the outsiders for being unclean, but after every mission, I was the one who always felt dirty. Everything was done to maximize Enclave's, Enclave resources and strategic positions with no consideration for those who paid the cost of our labors. Some were children, others barely born. But if you asked me why I defected, it, was, it wasn't one thing. There was no crying child, no singular event that made me turn. My my belief that uh, my belief what I my belief in what we were doing simply eroded over time, like a callus slowly peeling off the skin. I used to believe the enclave was was here to protect the ideals of the country, the the ideals this country was founded on. Now I realize that couldn't be furthest from the truth, and so eventually I left the Enclave for good. At first I wasn't sure if they'd come after me. The suit was a uh, valuable property, one of the only handful of modern XO2 prototypes. But the, the Colonials were facing issues on a number of, number of fronts. As it turns out, President Eden's death provided an ample dis distraction for my defection. Maybe they'd come. Maybe they'd. Maybe there'd come a time when the rent would be would be due. But for now, I was left to roam the Commonwealth by myself. One day, while scavenging, I came across an old holotape for a locally uh, syndicated radio programming. A program. The show was terrible. It was rightfully canceled after a few episodes. The devil was. Uh, was um was was a caricature with horns 
and a pitchfork with multiple catchphrases. But the name of the character drew me in. He was a devil, just like me, but somehow he didn't let that define him. They turned him into a real patriot. Before I knew it, I started emulating some of his backstory. I found a bunker under an old police station, an old police ration station with plenty of resources. I started listening to distress signals on the radio and helping out settlers. In the radio program, the Black Devil could hear songs of, songs of America from thousands of miles away. I can't do that, but but what I can do is set up a original signal to transmit an old uh, transmit the old Enclave songs I have on hollow tape, and hijack a few iBots iBots to monitor settlements remotely. Some of the settlers have pecked up on the cues on the cues and started playing the music when they need help. I've limited limited the stations the station to broadcast only a handful of the songs at the moment. I have eight in total, but I'd rather not play them all. Some of them open old wounds. I need to shut the radio off, for my own sake. Back when I was with the Devil's Hand, we used to play them while in the throes of battle. When I became the Black Devil, the music put my mind back to where it needed to be, but now too many of the wrong memories get triggered by the melody. Besides, with my health being as it is, I can't be the Devil anymore. So I've decided to leave the suit where he, uh, leave the suit here and hope someone will take it, take up the mantle in my stead. To whomever read this now, I only ask a favor. To get through the door, to get through the door, you turn turn the radio back on. All I'm asking for is for you to shut it back off, but this time for good. The console has a kill switch that will short circuit this radio signal, triggering that. Triggering that should also disable the electronic lock to the safe, just in case you need a reward to make it worth your while. I'm asking you this because I might still be out there living as a common civilian. And if I should pass by the radio, I'd rather not hear that music ever again. I mean, it seems like an easy choice. Keep the radio. Oh, complex. Yeah, it seemed like an easy choice. Either keep the radio on and have music, or turn the radio off and get whatever's in the safe. Let's see what I want. Good. I bought power armor, Exo Two Devils Inferno. All right. Well, let's go check it out. Definitely a nice looking suit of armor. Not sure how I feel about the little pointy things in the back, but eh, it's fine. Oh, I thought I opened the door. 
There we go. Having fun with that there, Preston. Do double damage in the crit. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Where's that lucky? Bugs and Marlocks. I'll find it. Alright. Skeleton enjoying a bath. Ooh, that's glowing one. Hurt I was. Oh, end of dumber and a dumbin end of dungeon steamer trunk. entrance to this is. All are welcome. That's not creepy. Bear with a phone saw, about to do surgery. I'm sure, it's not nearly as bad as it looks. There goes the phone again. another way because it seems odd. What if you didn't have, and then again that gives you the password right there. So yeah, alright. No, I think that's everything. I just wanted to start holding that Yep. All right. Um. There we go. Don't mind me, just being an idiot.
And we are in the Commonwealth again. Sanctuary. I was supposed to win a pack of steak
don't mind me. I can't believe I had it muted the whole time. I'm an idiot. I've been talking to myself. Ugh. Not a bad suit of power armor. I just... I wish the bronze... This kind of bronzy... Rusted look... Could look on the others, so it looks... Like the rest, but... Eh. Find a complaint. All things considered. go. A little worried there, the animation wasn't happening. Take the core, not hop in it. Heads up. I'm listening. Wait there. I'll stand ready. Heads up. Okay. What am I doing? I actually find more food for y'all while I was out. I don't think I did. Look alive. Come on. Consider it done. 
You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in second. Alrighty, now that that's done. Got one more thing to do. Don't mind making a chip. You, what do you do? You ought to be careful. I can fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. Nice. Let's trade. Let's see. Give me your Coast Guard hat. I want to give you. I saw in my inventory. I bought a helmet. Boom! Oh, aren't you fashionable? I guess I should give you a proper dirty military fatigues helmet. Oh no, I bought a helmet. Combat left arm. Left leg, right arm, left arm, robot piece, left leg, right leg. Alright, so. Looking all schnazzy. And that's all I can really be bothered to do right now. Alright, uh, let's go to market and sell some shit. Go sell. We'll go after the other, some of the other th power armors, or power armor, the other power armor, the other Enclave power armor. Stay in cover and out of sight. But you let's see what you got. Something for every mm -hmm. Oh text message. Who's bothering me? Ugly heroes.
Don't trust myself with grenades, honestly. They never end well. Oh shit, my minigun. Not my minigun. Not my minigun. Now. Excuse me. We can I brought the chick seat on Taro. Maybe you want to move. Let's see what you got. So. Oh, yep, yeah, we got more. More cannonballs. Nuka grenade. All right. I'm broke. Shit. Skull in the league to stand a squad. What ammo do I not use? Point four. So I'm just transfer. There you go. Don't need some ammo. Alright. Do a save. Alrighty, gonna do my good deed of the month and go to the gym. So, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you all later. I want to get back into playing this again. I don't know about it every day, but at least once a week. So, yeah, have a good week. Bye bye, everyone.